Southeast about 10. Dipping down to minus 16 with high cloud. Average low minus 15, right where we belong, basically. And then tomorrow, minus 9. Warming up, not by leaps and bounds, but you got to take it and embrace it for better tomorrow than today. We'll break down that next seven day forecast in a bit. Now, this is a very interesting segment, Lee, and I think a lot of parents better be listening out for this one. Absolutely. So many of us listen to music without really listening to it. But what our next guest has found is that music can have a dramatic effect on us if we really tap into its power. Jennifer Buchanan is a certified music therapist, and for the past 25 years, she's helped countless people suffering from a wide range of illnesses through sounds and playing music. And he sure, she's here to tell us a little bit more. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, I'm really curious about what yeah. actually got you interested. When did you sort of first realize that music does have this power to heal? I, I was very fortunate mm -hmm. um, that I learned about music therapy early on. I was 14 years old. Oh, wow. But I learned about it through a sort of a, a difficult time with our family. My grandfather had just suffered his second major stroke, and he was 62 years old. Oh, he was young. He, he was very young. And he was placed in a long-term care facility. And uh, my grandmother, who was an incredible caregiver um, and woman, uh, would come in and bring my grandfather a home-cooked meal every day. Mm -hmm. She would put together a program plan. And when we would visit, and she put our day as Friday, she was one of those grannies that says, and you'll come on Fridays, won't you, dear? Right. And we would. And so we went in. And uh, I was 14 years old. There were a whole bunch of other things I'd rather do. I tried to tune in something special on the television. And I think Granny said, we can do more than this for Granddad. Jen, would you learn your Granddad's favorite song? Oh. My Granddad was the most miserable old man I'd ever <laughs> met in my life. And I couldn't even imagine my Granddad having a favorite song. But I trusted my Granny. I went home. I learned the song. I came in. On what instrument? I uh, was actually learning guitar oh, at that okay. time. So guitar and singing. And singing. And so I came in and she already had the chair right in front of Granddad's bed. And she said, go ahead, dear. And so I was very nervous. I'm sure. And I started singing. And I started singing a song I didn't know well. And the lady out in the hall who normally screams started to sing and she came in and the gentleman who normally wanders we, we all know the wandering mm -hmm. guy he wandered on in sure and granny just said keep going dear and so i did my grandfather sat there that miserable old man i saw him cry for the first oh, time wow we felt a connection and it was my grandmother who actually said i've heard about music therapy jen <gasps> And so for the next several years, I would go to the long-term care. I still had lots of questions. Sure. That's why I went off to school. Fair enough. And, and your company was born. And my company Tell was born. Tell me a little born. bit about your company, JB Music yeah. Therapy. What do you guys do? Well, the, I've got an amazing team. We have uh, 15 team members mm -hmm. in the company. We're in our 25th year. Wow. And uh, so we're celebrating 2016, and I was so excited that Mayor Nenshi actually um, recognized that this is going to be the year of music, Absolutely. so it's perfect for us. Now, you've got a wide range of yeah. clients and patients, and tell me about how broad spectrum this is. Our youngest client's two months old with visual impairment. Our oldest is 106 with dementia. Unbelievable. Yeah. And I did a story on with one of your therapists yes. about a year and a half ago named Jimmy. And we were dealing with a woman, I believe, who had a cerebral palsy. Yes. And I witnessed, it was an incredible uh, moment when the music came on. I mean, she just lit up. And what we try to explain to people is, so regardless of what your condition may be, as music therapists, we're sitting right there with the person we're testing. So we're looking at the different elements of music and which ones are going to be the best for them to reach that goal they're hoping to have. Right. So whether it's working with a child with cerebral palsy mm -hmm. or whether it's working with a youth at risk who is feeling depressed and isolated and needing to, to feel more connected or whether it's working with the senior who has perhaps suffered a stroke and sure. we're going to help with rehabilitation of speech, we're going to break down music. We're going to test what's the best music um, and sound. Uh, the best 
tempo, the best rhythms that we can use for that client in order to bring out the best response. Wow. And yeah. I've seen it happen. Like I said, I did this story yeah. and the response of the patient was unbelievable. It's absolutely incredible. People can actually learn a little bit about this in your book. It's called Tune In. The second mm -hmm. edition just came out. Mm -hmm. What's in this book? Tell me just a little bit about it. Very yeah, quickly. this book I wanted to take in a bit of a different direction. I was feeling, you know, I've, I've been doing this a while now and, and the second edition just has the latest research added into it. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to bring now this concept of how music is working in the clinical setting, how we as music therapists are working with individuals, what we're witnessing, but in turn, how can the general public use music with greater intention to also have incredible health rewards? Because we've seen that happen. The Absolutely. health benefits are amazing. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank we're you. out of time. She does incredible work. That is Jennifer Buchanan with Music Therapy. Uh